Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to the shop. So today, I'm gonna to be forging a door knocker. It's gonna be the same as the one I forged in the last video, apart from having a scroll instead of the dragon's head. So I'm gonna be using all the same material that I used for the last one. So I'll show you that real quick. This is quarter inch plate. It's eight, uh, nine inches long, three inches wide, and then an inch and a half of this one inch square bar and then two two inch sections of this quarter by one inch flat bar all right so i'm going to put it on time lapse and you guys can watch me cut all this stuff out all right so so far what's going on is i got the back plate all cut out two hinge pieces cut out. I still need to drill a hole in the center of them. I'm gonna do that right now, center punch and drill them. And then I still gotta cut out the strike plate. And then I'm gonna also uh, drill and punch the holes in the back plate of it. So I'm gonna put it on time lapse and watch we go. Okay, so I got the back of the plate drilled out. That's where the strike plate is gonna be welded on. And then I got two center punch marks right there and right there. And that's just where the hinge pieces are going to be welded on. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch those out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and punch those slots out. And I'm gonna make sure that they're nice and level, parallel with each other, they look good. Down. Go right over the hole. Just like that, it's out. Pretty simple, it's just gonna have two opposing scrolls and then bend into an S shape just like the other one. All right, so I'm just gonna chamfer up the edges here. Okay, so for the actual striker part, I got 13 inches of half inch by three quarter inch bar. And get it hot, and we're gonna start forging out a taper for the scroll. Okay, so while I'm forging out that taper, I'm simultaneously gonna be forging out the strike plate here. And also, I'm gonna be forging out that taper under my power hammer. Okay, so that taper's coming along pretty good. I'm gonna take one more heat on the power hammer, but first I'm gonna get it hot, obviously, so let's get it. All right, so I'm gonna force this taper out a bit longer here. The pinhole will probably be right there, somewhere around there. And then we'll take and forge on a taper on the other side of the bar here. I'm gonna get that taper all cleaned up and then I'll be right back with you. 
All right, so we got those two tapers forged out. The hole for the pin's gonna go right around here somewhere. So I'm gonna force that scroll out. Let's get it. Where's that scroll out here? That is what I'm looking for. That looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. That's the, that's the one on the other side. folks so we got that piece forged out nicely it looks good and i got all the pieces cut out here for the back plate so the next step is going to be to bend this striker up here and then put it all together so let's get it done all right so now i'm going to go ahead and bend it up here Okay, get that side bent up. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around to the other side. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start bending up that other side. Okay, so I got that bent up pretty good. I'm gonna take one more heat on it and just make sure it's all nice and flat and cleaned up because this will be the last time this gets off. Next step is going to be to drill the hole in this and then start assembling. Alrighty folks, so right here I'm just using the Dragon's Head door knocker I made as a template to mark out where the hole needs to go. Alright, so I got the hole drilled in the knocker and the last thing I'm going to do before I go through and start welding it together is wire brush the whole entire thing. As when it's welded together, there will be some, some spots on it that are hard to get to with a grinder. Okay, so right here, I'm just centering the strike plate on the back plate so I can weld it up. Okay, so I went ahead and drilled the screw holes. I'm gonna go ahead and rivet the knocker onto the base here. All right, so I just realized that that's hitting and it's not allowing me to get a big enough knock, a big enough stroke there for a good knock. So, so I'm gonna have to heat this back up and give it a bit more of a bend. Just right in there. Okay, so I got this bent up a little bit more, so I got a bit more range of motion there. Got enough. I'm gonna go ahead and pound that rivet down in there. Okay, there we go. Got it all riveted together. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen it up now. But it's a bit tight. Probably heat it up again. Yeah. All right, so I got that loosened up pretty good. It works well. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just give it another wire brush and then put some oil on it. All righty, everyone. Thanks for watching. I think it turned out really good. I'm happy with how it came out. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.